Like you can keep that light burning brightly when you're working in collaboration with others yeah. who are also trying to be the light for their organizations. Yeah. And that's what we're doing with this 90 day banking on change boot camp. And the very first meeting that we're having with them, it's about two weeks post event. So it's it's long enough to you know get some people registered who want to make this commitment to take this additional step. But then it's the very first session that we're doing is we're going to teach the exponential ideas framework so that they can have a strategic action plan to take the ideas and insights that they've gained a couple of weeks ago and begin to move forward and make progress with them over the next 30 days. And that's, that's the horizon line right now. It's, you know, you might have a 12 to 18, 24 month initiative that comes out of one of these conferences or an events. But if you can start to break that down into what can I do to affect positive change over the next 30 days, that's going to create momentum and that momentum will build over time. And then in the second meeting, so we're now 30 days in the second one is we're going to go through the what's going well framework, which is a, you know, I know we don't have time to get into that today, but I'm just trying to, for someone who's listening, going to an event, giving them a path forward. Um, it's like, what tools do you need? And so the what's going well framework is something that I wrote about in banking on change that helps to track progress, um, which builds the courage to commit, to continue forward with confidence. And then finally in the last 30 days, so we're now almost 90 days in post-conference it's okay. How do you want to continue to grow going forward to the next 90 day cycle? And so that's your goals, the roadblocks that you could perceive, and then the opportunities to overcome those roadblocks to keep moving forward there. So all of these strategic thinking tools that are in banking on change can be applied for any conference or for any event moving forward to, to really build a, a cohort or a framework that creates the sense of, of community yeah. and, and continuous action, um, which then it's okay. We have those human connections. And so the next time that you come together for the conference or for the event a year from now, I, I, I'm predicting that those who commit to keep moving forward through at least a monthly or co quarterly cohort, those human connections will be even that much more powerful once you reconnect in person. So as we start to wrap up, James Robert, thinking about the idea of accountability and community, for those who have been to conferences recently or just gotten back from some conferences who are looking for a little bit of, of accountability, um, we have a community for them, James Robert. We do. And it's something that we have been working on for a couple of years. We started working with just our clients within the Banking on Digital Growth Program. And then earlier this year in 2024, we started to expand that out. And I think now we have over 300 members. Um, as a part of this community coming from marketing sales and leadership teams, it's the digital growth community. And, you know, if I think about just recently, one of our community members made a comment, uh, she had a question about uh, online account opening and how that fits into the omni channel experience. And at least eight, six, seven, eight community members have yeah. hopped in to provide her with some additional perspective based upon their experience. And so there's definitely um, the ability to continue to connect with other growth minded leaders from marketing sales or leadership teams within financial brands, but then also to create some accountability as well um, coming out of these conferences and events so that you can continue to move forward and take action.